Earth, 1997. An interstitial time helix. Galaxy grade. Obviously the work of some tar and tube effect worms. Those slave relay support rods are the largest I've ever seen. If I'm right, they'll be tapping into volcanic fission at the center of planet Earth. That kind of power. Those pods could be jettisoned into e-space at superlucent velocity. I must save them. Excuse me, my good woman. Those pods, do you know where they go? They just go down. Into the universe of antimatter? Or Alzarius? Is it are you a Doctor Who? I am known only as the Doctor. So the pods go all the way up and then all the way back down again. Absolutely. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. This is most fascinating, isn't it? It would seem as though we're on a large observation wheel. If only that were true. <laughs> no. This is a galaxy-grade interstitial time configuration helix. <laughs> operated by the Santarans from their base on Phobos, the moon of Mars. And we are all trapped aboard one of its outer cryogenic chamber pods. <laughs> the Santarans must want to capture us and turn us into reptilian hatchlings to swell their populations. <laughs> We've opened their long-running war with the Rutans. You see that building there? The large clock? You know what's in there, don't you? Wankers! If you would like to move to the northeast and northwest edges of the capsule, facing towards the spiral staircases, we will take your photograph. Don't do it, it's a trap! <laughs> These uh, cards which depict the interstitial time delay helix across there, how much are they? Oh, 45 pence. Have you got change of a Gallifrey and Zonk? <laughs> That's highly dangerous, don't touch it. <laughs> you are Autons from the planet Tossos. <laughs> we haven't much time. <laughs>